My name's Davey, and I make this magazine called Found Magazine. It's all notes and letters that people find on the ground, find on the street. People send them in to me from around the country, really around the world, and I just slap it together into Found Magazine and these found books. Some of the letters are heartbreaking, some of them are really funny. But, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing when you see some crumpled up piece of paper laying on the ground or laying on the street, you pick it up and it turns out to be some interesting love note or to-do list or someone's journal entry. What's up? Welcome, you guys, to Bob Magazine's There Goes the Neighborhood Tour and Andrew Cohen's 29th birthday. Ow! So I, I've got this friend. I live in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and my friend lives a couple blocks away. He is talented at finding interesting receipts, and he found about a year ago this one. It, just four items on it. It says, gun, gun, ski mask, nerds. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting afternoon. And then like a week later, he found this receipt. It says, chicken ramen noodles, 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 12 pack lubricated condoms. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting night. And I love these, these notes because they all just give you a glimpse into someone else's life. I've been making Found Magazine for about six years now. And I've made five issues in six years. So pretty, uh, they come out pretty irregularly. So we got this brand new issue, Found Number Five. And it's the crime issue. Here's one from the new issue, file number five. It's this little contract. It says, I, Becca McNeil, state herein that upon my death, Drew Copel has all legal rights to my skull. <laughs> um, this one from Austin, Texas. Dear Alicia, what were you thinking? Fucking Ben in the next room while I was sick with mono? You are a dirty bitch and I rebuke you. <laughs> Thought we had something special. Clearly you didn't. Hope you enjoy tramping it up in fucking half of Austin. Please die. Sincerely, Roger. We're doing 65 cities in 82 days. We call, we call it the There Goes the Neighborhood Tour, based on our favorite Body Count song. My brother and I, we've done pretty much one tour every year. And it's great because we get to see our friends in every city and, you know, make new friends as we go. It's something that I love. I love this found stuff. and. You know, I love my brother's music. I think he's an incredible musician. And so I get to hear him play every night, which is a treat. I'm just going to come up here and play a couple songs for you. Give him a big warm welcome. My brother, Peter Rothbart, the poem of death, top four. This first song I want to play for you guys is based on a note that was found in San Francisco a couple years ago. And it's a note in which someone is trying to work through a really difficult decision. And the decision this person is trying to make is, should I catch the bus, or should I go get a beer? Which, if you guys have ever tried to make that decision, you can vouch for me, it's not an easy one to make. And in this case, it's really exacerbated by the fact that it's the last bus home. So, I don't know, what would you guys do? But if I catch the bus, I won't have time to get a beer. It's always a pleasure to, to come visit LBC and open. So you guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I just really appreciate that you're here. Found Magazine, you know, it's this gigantic collaborative art project. You know, it only exists because thousands of people are sending in their finds from all over the place. So the fact that you're here makes me happy. Like, maybe you'll be on your way home tonight, you'll find something, you know? Maybe you'll tell your friend about it that lives in, you know, North Dakota or North Korea. You know, that's how it has grown, is people telling their friends, their friends tell their friends about the, the project, and, and then we start getting stuff from everywhere. So thank you guys so much. I'm gonna miss the last bus home.